Hi, everybody. Welcome to our community call for Team Africa. And I'm so glad to be back. Oh, so good to see everyone. Okay. Coach Fred. All right. Um, okay, so I got to listen to the recordings for the community calls. So amazing. So amazing. Um, I love those calls. They're so much fun and so exciting to hear all the different things that are happening in Africa and all your different <coughs> projects that are making a difference and all those golden hearts out there. <laughs> so that is why, guys, Magala and I, we're declaring this, guys. This is a declared thing, so it's going to happen. So September, we are going to create a young person's YEA program. Yeah. And, and Magala and I are going to deliver it. Oh, and then Christy said she wanted to be a part of it. And there may be some others here that really have something special for young people. And Coach Umar, your students have to come and be a part of it. So it's from 13, ages 13 to 17 that can participate in it. And, um, and we're going to need some coaches. We're going to need some people that want to come and join us. But we are going to deliver a course for young people, 13 to 17 um, in Africa. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. So, so excited. Magala, thank you for agreeing to be my partner in delivering it. You're going to. Yeah. yeah. I'm so glad. May I say something? Yes, absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. Um, thank you very much, Magara, for sharing such a, a beautiful information. It is a really incredible. Um, I think uh, besides uh, people uh, getting the importance and the relevance of the mindset, um, there is a need for you to also tell your people to recognize the power of the idea, uh, especially knowing where business ideas are coming from is very important. And at the same time, uh, knowing the power of having a business idea and then the what part of it, the when part of it, the how part of it, the to whom part of it. Those questions are very important to a company the business idea generated by the young people. Because some young people have the idea, but they don't feel empowered. They don't feel motivated that maybe their idea can become a reality. So it is very important for them to, first of all, recognize the presence and the power of the idea as far as business is concerned. Then from there, they can know how to make the idea to materialize the idea and it becomes a reality, regardless of the fact that they are supported or not, regardless of the fact that they have money to start or not. So they should know that as long as they have the idea, they can start with the little that they have to make sure the idea, they walk that, we normally call it walking the talk, so that they can start walking the talk with the little that they have. So that's what I wanted to supplement. Oh, well, Coach Fred, um, you will be somebody that we will be pulling in that will be probably working with our youth YEA program. <laughs> Absolutely. No problem. no problem. No problem. We will be bringing you into it, okay? Yeah, um, yeah because, because I've seen how powerful the idea can be. Because absolutely. you look at the idea as a tiny, but it can grow. The idea can grow beyond your expectation. Even the companies we are seeing, they started as small companies. In Uganda, we have a bank. It is called the Sentinel Bank. It is one of the biggest financial institutions in Uganda, taking uh, over 80% of Ugandans having accounts with that bank. But it started as a small cooperative society, very small. And it's a Catholic man who founded the Centenary Bank. He came up with an idea. was like, why can't we start this? 
and now it has been brought, they have over 115 branches. Almost each and every small town, each and every town in Uganda has a branch of Centenary Bank. But it started wow. in one room as a cooperative society yeah. with the third members. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So the power of the idea. Absolutely. I'm trying to imagine, I'm trying to imagine how someone thought of the idea why EA. <laughs> I don't know that story. It's sprouting now, but I don't know that story. Well, guys. The the what I wanted to do was I being a being an entrepreneur for over thirty years I wanted to mentor other entrepreneurs and I started out mentoring one and then two and then three and then I was like now I want to mentor more and that's when YEA came that's when the idea of YEA came is I want to create a program that can reach many more. But I did not know that that was going to include Africa. <laughs> you need to visualize. You I did not to visualize. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to include so much. Um, yeah, this has grown since 2014 to now. Guys, YEA is, is all over now. It's everywhere. It's in the Philippines, it's in the Bahamas, it's in the Virgin, British Virgin Islands, it's in the U.S., it's, it's in many, many states in the U.S. It's, it, we have students from all over. So, and it was students and coaches and my leaders that brought more and more people to the program way way more and it got bigger and bigger so believe me this was my dream my goal and you're seeing so it was your idea so it, it is was, the power you see it was the a power tiny of the idea, idea. Was a tiny and idea it went, now it is the and it blew up <laughs> <laughs> absolutely That's beautiful.